Hello to all friends and fans of the pulp, paper and bioproducts industries. Welcome to our exciting Spectrum podcast, where today we'll be taking a deep dive into Andritz Occasion, a holistic service offered by Andritz to ensure optimum performance of old container mills or OCC mills as they are better known in the industry. I am Mark Rushton and I will be your host. It may be an old fashioned statement, but sometimes we have to make the best of what we have. In the case of existing OCC plants, Andritz does exactly that and much, much more. The Occasion program brings existing OCC mills right into the 21st century by customizing and implementing the very latest in production technology and know how across all processes. So today we are delighted to welcome Andritz experts George Emery. Occasion Process Director, and Al Zampano, Occasion Process Expert. Welcome, gentlemen. Great to have you here. Thanks for having us. Yeah, good morning. Okay, so let's dive straight in. Uh, can you tell us about Occasion and what the goal is of the program? And uh, let's go to George first for that one, please. Okay, Mark, thank you. Um, Occasion is a process-driven program that, that gives um, – technical support to OCC plants. We help customers solve problems or meet uh, new goals or targets that they have. Um, when we see customers operating at 10, 20, or 30% above their rated capacity um, and still need more, these aren't, aren't really easy targets to meet, but we're trying to, trying to help the customers achieve, achieve these new goals. Um, sometimes they're trying to improve yield or downgrade raw materials or uh, improve uptime. And sometimes we go into a plant that just wants to know how, how they're doing. How, are, how do they compare to their, to their peers? We started the program uh, in January of 23. So we've been active just over two years now. And um, we cover US and Canada. There are uh, three other groups in occasion that cover different parts of the, of the world. So it's, not, it's a global program. And, uh, you know, in the past uh, couple of years, we've engaged with a couple dozen mills and um, we find that we, we maintain an ongoing relationship with many of these mills with uh, process support and um, trials and upgrades and so forth. Excellent. So it sounds like a very collaborative approach, George. Yeah, that, that's a good way to describe it, I think. Excellent. So, Al, over to you. Who does uh, Occasion actually benefit? Is it any mill that uses OCC? I think it would be any mill that's using OCC, trying to make liner and medium grades. Uh, but the biggest advantages uh, come to the ones that are adjusting their strategic plans uh, to address the you know, current business uh, issues. We're looking to try and partner with these folks in developing a, a roadmap for the mill to to stay in the top quartile or move into the top quartile for, for performance, whether it's uh, cost, uh, yield, um, uh, optimization of their process and what, they, what they're trying to accomplish that keeps them profitable. Again, collaboration seems to be the key here. You're really listening to what they're saying. Yeah, Mark, I think, I think the biggest piece is it works best when, when it's a dialogue and, and we can engage back and forth to, to revise and, and adjust and come together. Excellent, excellent. Um, and back to George, can you explain how Occasion actually works in practice? Can you just walk us through how it would work for a customer? Sure. Uh, so we, we start with the, uh, with the audit process. Um, and that means we go into the mills and we discuss with the OCC team, um, you know, what are their needs? What are they trying to achieve? What problems are they trying to solve? And, and they uh, hopefully tell us, you know, how we can help them. Um, this, is, this is probably the most important part of, of the audit process is getting the customer's needs sort of figured out and, and defined. Most of the time uh, when we get started, we go through the flow sequence and get enough uh, information on equipment models and process parameters that we can develop uh, and as running material balance. So we know what are they doing today? And then from there, we'll develop a new material balance that incorporates uh, the new goals. And uh, 
We do that by, you know, sampling in the mill. We do consistency testing, usually in the customer's lab. And then we do some more specialized tests in our labs um, around the world, actually. And um, this, this allows us to incorporate, you know, their results into our models and show them, you know, what, what will happen if they change this or change, change some things. Um, and that, that really rolls into an upgrade plan. Here's, here are some options. Here's how you could improve or, or uh, achieve the new goals. And, um, and I think that this, this also, you know, becomes part of the uh, implementation process where we uh, install the upgrades or, or help them achieve, um, you know, the final, the final process. Excellent. So it's a real listen, show and tell uh, type of uh, collaboration that you have going on there. Yeah, there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of back and forth, and I don't think that 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 one audit is exactly like the next one. They're they're different because the customers are different. Excellent, thank you for that. Um, so turning back to Al, can you please give us some case examples? What happened, and what did you do to improve the process? And talk about some real examples, um, and what were the results? Sure, Mark. Uh, you know the one that one that leaps in front of mind here is. Uh, a customer came to us, and their their production line was uh, bottlenecked at about a uh, thousand fifty tons a day, and they they're trying to get a few more tons out the end of the line uh, to try to get to eleven hundred uh, because the machine could you know the machine could handle it. So they on top of the capacity increase, they also wanted to solve. They had a chronic problem where they would. Uh, Plugged the lower the late stages of the fine screening system, and so you know when they push the capacity, that's kind of how you find the bottleneck, right? When you push the capacity, something can't handle it, and so you know we we come in, we start with the material balance. Well, we start with the interview and finding all this out, and we move to the material balance, and we started to identify some things where okay, when when you hit here, this this problem shows itself, so. Uh, did a full system material balance, uh, incorporated the new targets, and uh, we saw we found the pinch point pretty quick and made some recommendations to upgrade the areas where, where they couldn't handle the additional capacity. Uh, wasn't, wasn't a major uh, project where, you know, we basically, we had to have them operate a couple of the secondary course screens instead of just one. Uh, we had them put a few more forward cleaners on and replace the uh, lower cones that were all worn out uh, in the cleaner system with new cones, uh, put a larger tertiary fine screen uh, in the in the third stage of the fine screening system so that it, that wasn't uh, being overloaded. And uh, the cost of the whole project was about 500,000 uh, US and, you know, at an extra 50 tons a day, that's a, 17,500 tons a year. And they estimate that's about three and a half million dollars in incremental margin for the mill. So you know, they're getting, they're getting seven to one back on, on their, on their capital investment there. So. Excellent. So really good ROI then. That was a good one for us. Yes. And that. Yeah. Fantastic. So George, can you tell us about any case studies? Sure. Sure. Um, Hot topic is always yield uh, in an OCC plant, and uh, this particular case, um, they uh, they asked us to you know sort of figure out how can we improve the yield without really pointing us toward any particular process step. So we we uh, went went in and and, and started uh, identifying where were the losses, where were they coming from, and um, the usual sources: pulping, core screening, forward cleaning, and fine screening were the were the ones that, that really get um, focused on. Uh, we decided to go after the fine screening losses. There were about 14 tons a day uh, being rejected at this point, 14 bone dry tons on full production of 900 tons. So quite a big number. And uh, we, we uh, implemented a uh, dilution rotor approach uh, on, the, on the tertiary quaternary fine screens. And uh, we were able to get the losses from 14 down to about six tons. And um, annual fiber savings of a couple thousand tons worth a little more than three hundred thousand dollars to the mill. So um, it was it was really a, a nice effort. We we then uh, you know after after we 
we're able to save those six tons. They, they asked us, you know, what else can we do? Where can we improve further? So we're looking at right now a project around the Ford cleaning that uh, is, is uh, capable of saving about nine tons a day. And we're doing some, uh, some stickies testing at the mill because sometimes saving fiber causes uh, unwanted side effects. And so that we're trying to make sure that we don't save fiber but create a different problem. And that testing will, will really give the mill um, an understanding of uh, what, what the overall impact is. Okay, excellent. I mean, that's some seriously significant savings that you have there. It's uh, it's it's really impressive. It must be a, a nice job you have to go away, um, and then return, and the mill is you know saving so much more in in waste and uh, and and everything else. So it's fantastic for the environment as well. Um, so any other comments there? Well, you know, I think that these mills uh, are oftentimes the ones that are quite mature and uh, fully optimized, and people have tried over the years to improve yields and so forth. So. It's not the low-hanging fruit. These are oftentimes very difficult to get, and we uh, we pride ourselves on being able to, you know, really drill down and figure it out. Great stuff. Excellent. Great. Okay, so once you identify an occasion opportunity, how long does the team take to work with that mill? Is it a few weeks? Is it months? Is it years? How long does the process take? You know, Mark, I, I think the amount of time we spend is dependent on the scope of the solution. In, in some cases, it can be as, you know, uh, two to three months, but there are, there are a lot of mills that we've been working with for six months plus, and even a few locations where we've been active for, you know, since the program started a few years back. You know, it, when, when executed properly, it really forms a foundation for a solid partnership. I can imagine. And then the trust develops. And then, of course, you move on to new things and other things within the mill. Fantastic. Excellent. Thank you. So back to you, George. Can you tell us why a special group was formed for this program? Sure. Um, you know, I, I think that our product groups uh, in the stock prep area have a lot of very talented people and experts um, in their product areas where uh where we saw the need and occasion was to sort of, you know, incorporate all of those product areas um, into, you know, into a group and, and cooperate and support those product areas. So we, uh, we felt that getting an occasion group would, would do that. And then we could collaborate, of course, with the, the product groups as well. Um, and I think that that broad experience gives us the ability to, to, uh, to focus on these, the full system and, and help improve improve the OCC plants. Excellent. It sounds like a really excellent program, really good program. So um, a question for both of you here, um, as you've both been immersed quite deeply in it. Um, if you had to pick one thing about occasion that you really think makes the program work well, what would that be? Uh, maybe I'll take first first swing at this one, Mark. Uh, yeah. It, you know, one, one of the biggest advantages that, that I see is it's, real-time access to process expertise that that spans, you know, from the, you know, from basically the in-feed conveyor to the, all the way through to the machine. And, you know, there, there's a lot of changes happening right now in, in everybody's market with, with this whole situation going on out there. So, you know, shifting markets, uh, you know, project that made sense, you know, uh, six months ago, you know, now, now the cost is looking a little bit different. And so, you know, we're, we're kind of tying that together and, you know, bringing in things, uh, from the other side of the address group, like digital transformation, you know, we've got our metrics group, uh, pulp eye, you know, we're, we're, we're trying to, uh, take some of these mills and, and, and really give them cutting edge technology so they can stay, uh, competitive and relevant. Excellent. George, for you, what stands out? Well, I think that, uh, you know, working hand in hand with the customers to help them solve problems, it's, it's very rewarding. It creates strong relationships and, and really partnerships, I think. Um, and that's, that's very positive. But I, I, also, I also say that, that uh, this is really a second item, that it, because we're a global group and we collaborate regularly, um, we're able to um, you know, get ideas from different parts of the world and put, you know, put, introduce those to our customers as well. So it's, it's kind of a, um, you know, a good way to funnel new ideas into the, into the market. 
Fantastic. Thank you very much, gentlemen. Occasion sounds like an excellent, excellent program. So thank you very much uh, for your uh, uh, deep dive discussion there. Yeah, thanks for having us, Mark. We appreciate it. So clearly there is a huge amount of performance improvements that can be made to existing OCC processing plants with the Occasion program and major significant savings can be made. Utilizing Andrit's knowledge across the board, as well as applying and installing the latest in technology, existing OCC lines can be brought firmly back into the 21st century. If you are interested in learning any more about the Occasion program, you can find out more information in the show notes of this podcast. And thank you to all our valued listeners and goodbye. Thank you.